My family and I, my kids particularly, I've started teaching them martial arts because I do Filipino martial arts, which is a stick-based, weapon-based uh, training. Okay, try that with your partner again. Initially, I, I thought it was kind of unique because I did it for myself. Little did I realize I'd be passing on this on to my kids. But it goes beyond the self-defense aspect because I realized with the medical conditions that we have, it's, I realized how sensitive the body is and how much you have to do to, to preserve it. Nico is in sixth grade now. He's 12 years old and uh, he reminds me a lot about like myself. He likes to joke around a lot. He's very helpful with his younger brother and sister, especially with our youngest son, Max. With autism, he's a good caretaker. He knows how to communicate with, with him with love and understanding. There it is. Yeah. Briella is nine years old, and she's the one that she's very strong-willed. Uh, I love it because she's gonna be able to stand up for herself and advocate for herself. Hot chocolate. She's very bold. We always say that one day, maybe she's gonna be a lawyer because she's very persuasive. And when she wants something, she, she really wants to get her way. I'd have to say, uh, if it wasn't for my wife, these are things probably I may not have noticed. When Nico was about nine years old, I would notice features in his body that looked mature and advanced for his age. She'll always make sure to check on things. She'll question things that I'll, I'll miss. So her background as a nurse has been tremendously helpful. Nico's next wellness visit, I brought it to the attention of his pediatrician. She did an exam and she agreed. The first test was a blood test and that blood test revealed that hormone levels were off the charts. Um, she also ordered an MRI, bone age x-ray, and an ultrasound. So thank the Lord, the tests all revealed that there was no sign of tumor. So um, that revealed that he had central precocious puberty. He was just starting puberty um, at a rapid pace earlier than expected. Hi, good to see you guys. I first met Nico. He was about two and a half years ahead of his actual age, which means that his body was maturing quickly. So even though we didn't meet him until nine years of age, he had been going through changes and his body had been maturing. Wow, the initial emotion that we felt when we heard about Nico's condition was, was kind of a shock. The test revealed that at nine years old, he was at a 12-year-old estimated developmental stage. We reached out to Dr. Klein, and she offered us a variety of treatment options. She also offered an opportunity for us to join a research study, which the medication would be injected every six months. The goals of treatment are to return the body to its previous prepubertal appearance, if possible. So sometimes we actually see regression of the physical signs that were noticed, or at least we want to stabilize those signs. So since uh, we noticed that Nico had CPP, it was already on our radar, um, thinking about our younger two kids, Briella and Max. I started noticing her body features were looking a little bit advanced and mature for her age as well. So the following summer, after Nico was diagnosed, I brought it up to the attention of the pediatrician again. Another interesting thing about Nico and Briella is that they're two children in the same family. So idiopathic precocious puberty in girls is often in isolation, one child in the family. However, now that we're learning more about genetic mutations that can cause CPP, it's likely that a family like this has some genetic mutation, so we haven't yet tested this particular family. But once we see two children with the similar problem, we do think about the genetic possibilities now. Our experience when we discovered that Briella also has CPP um, 
We kind of just took it as, okay, this is another challenge that our family has to endure um, and get through together. So she had the advantage of since she had a brother who went through this, she was able to initiate treatment sooner and have a more typical childhood for age-appropriate changes in her body. The treatment that Nico and Brielle are receiving, they're called puberty blockers. And we asked Dr. Klein, well, is it even necessary to treat them? Do they have to get this treatment? And she said, no, they can still grow to healthy individuals. There's that chance that they're gonna grow quite short. The body's gonna think that, oh, okay, I'm, or I'm already done growing. So uh, when Ron and I discussed our options, we did discuss the option of not treating them. But then again, we considered the social emotional impact that it would be on both Nico and Briella. We just want to give our kids um, every opportunity to grow, develop physically, emotionally, socially to their maximum potential and that's our goal. So with our youngest son Max, um, he is on our radar since Nico and Briella both have CPP. So luckily Max was seven years old at the time and the bone age and the blood test revealed that he was at the expected developmental state. So at least for now, we have that information. And in the future, if we notice anything else, any advancements, any maturity in his growth, we can do more tests and compare it to the baseline data. I think it's important for the medical community to recognize the value of the physical exam so that they don't miss early signs of puberty. We can still do it very privately, very appropriately, we can look instead of touch when that's an issue, you know, with a child, and we do want to educate our children on appropriate touch. It's very important. I think it is underdiagnosed um, because information about puberty happening early has become considered normal. And so uh, many people are saying, hey, we've got early puberty, but they're saying it's happening early so we're not gonna worry about it. A younger child who the doctor's not expecting to see signs of puberty might not see those signs of puberty simply because they do not look. So one of the things I educate pediatricians about is the importance of a full physical exam. I am very hopeful for the future, but just like any parent, I think, what's the future gonna look like for my child? You try to think about these things, and if you think about it, it's gonna keep you up all night, so you just enjoy the moments. I believe Nico and Briella, as well as our son Max, they're going to grow up to be happy, healthy individuals with all the opportunities out there to be whatever they want to be in life. <laughs>